there are world records for the heaviest ships, the fastest ships, the longest ships, and even the widest ships. But today, we're going to be counting down the top 15 tallest ships in the world. Here we go. Number 15. White Pearl White Pearl is a sailing yacht that features the tallest carbon yacht masts in the world. These enormous masts were created by Magma Structures in Portsmouth, the UK, and they're more than 295 feet tall. It took Magma three years to develop, test, design, and construct these masts, and the masts hold sails that are larger than a football pitch. The masts themselves are intelligent. They're embedded with fiber optic sensors that relay comprehensive load data so they can optimize their performance. Officially known as Sailing Yacht A, the yacht was designed by Philip Stark and is owned by Andrei Melnichenko. And with eight decks, the yacht is tall even without the masts. But with the masts, this yacht looks as though it could pierce the sky. Number 14. Sedov Sedov was once the largest traditional sailing ship in operation. In fact, she held that title for almost 80 years. Sedov is a four-masted steel bark that was originally built as a German cargo ship. She was formerly known as the Commodore Johnson and was first launched in 1921. Has a length of 385 feet and a speed of 18 knots, plus an impressive height of 177 feet. Sedov was acquired by the Soviet Union in 1945 as a war reparation, but today she's still very active as a training ship. Sedov works as a sail training vessel. She trains cadets from various universities, including St. Petersburg and Kaliningrad. She's often a participant in the tall ships races, as well as a host for maritime international events. Number 13, RMS Queen Mary II. The RMS Queen Mary II is the largest transatlantic ocean liner in the world. She's preceded by the RMS Queen Elizabeth II, and this very tall ship is the first major ocean liner built since 1969. The ship was named by Queen Elizabeth in 2004 after she made her maiden voyage that same year. Her stern to bow length is 1,132 feet, and she's got a gross tonnage of 148,000 tons. She's able to welcome 2,600 passengers on board. This is in addition to her crew of 1,250. She travels at a top speed of about 28 knots. The Queen Mary II is the only transatlantic ocean liner still in service that operates between Southampton and New York. So she's not just one very tall ship, she's also unique. Number 12, Pallada. Pallada is a three-masted frigate, and she holds the world speed record for the world's fastest sailing ship. She had a record speed of 18.7 knots and received an official Guinness World Record for it. Pallada was built in 1989 and boasts a height of 75 feet. She was designed by Zygmunt Chorin, and just three years after her first launch, she made the coveted round-the-world sail. She's widely used for cadet and sail training and has a permanent crew of 50. To date, this glorious ship has racked up more than 900,000 nautical miles, has been to 36 countries, and has stopped in at more than 100 ports worldwide. Number 11, Moshulu. Unlike a lot of other ships on this list, you can actually board Moshulu because it's currently docked in Penn's Landing, Philadelphia as a floating restaurant. Moshulu was built in 1904, and she's a four-masted steel bark. She's the largest remaining original windjammer, which is a type of commercial sailing ship. She once traveled the route from Europe to Chile, but was seized by the U.S. as an enemy asset. She's been in and out of service throughout the years until she finally capsized in 1947. She was demasted and sold to the United States in 1970 and was reinstated as a restaurant in 1975. She's got a height of 185 feet from the main deck to the masthead truck. She also has spent a bit of time on the silver screen. She's seen in the Rocky movies as well as The Godfather Part Two. Number 10, The Seawise Giant. Now, the Seawise Giant is a ship of many names, the Happy Giant, the Nock Nevis, the Yachter Viking. And while she might not have the grandeur and awe-inspiring height that some of the world's tallest sailing vessels have, make no bones about it, this ship is tall. Seawise Giant is an oil tanker that was built in the late 1970s, and although she goes by many names, Seawise Giant suits her the best, because everything about this ship is giant. Seawise Giant was the heaviest self-propelled ship of any kind in the world while in service. In fact, the ship is so big it's hard to tell how tall she actually is because of her overall enormous size. But pictures that show Seawise Giant in the water with other ships show just how tall this tanker really is. Sadly, Seawise Giant was scrapped in 2010, but her unruly height and overall massiveness makes her one of the most memorable ships that ever cruised the open ocean waters. Number 9. The QMAX Ships 
The QMAC ships are the world's largest membrane-type liquefied natural gas carriers with a length of 1,132 feet and a gross tonnage of 162,000 tons. The height of these ships is truly something to marvel at as they cruise along the water. All in, there are 14 QMAC ships. They were first built by Samsung Heavy Industries, Hyundai Heavy Industries, and Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering. The first ship to be built was the Mosa, and it was completed in 2007. Of all the ships that operate under Nakilat, which is a Qatari gas company, the MAX part of their name comes from the fact that they are the largest ships able to dock at the LNG terminals in Qatar. Number 8. BAP Union Not all tall ships are for leisure. Some are built for training, where aspiring cadets and naval captains get the real-life training that they need. That's the case with the BAP Union. She's a four-masted steel-hulled Class A bark that was built between 2012 and 2015. She was built by Shipyard Marine Industrial Services of Peru and was launched on December 22, 2014. The BAP Union is often considered to be the largest sailing vessel in Latin America. She serves as a training ship for the Peruvian Navy, as well as a sailing ambassador for her home country. She's got a height of 175 feet, 6 inches, and her sail rig has 34 sails. She also features several symbols from Incan culture, such as her famous figurehead. The bronze image is of the Sapa Inca Emperor, Tupac Yupanqui, also known as the Shining. Inside the ship, there's a library, an auditorium, and various classrooms. Cadets on the ship learn about a wide range of things, from oceanography to naval operations and maneuvers to astronomical navigation. Number 7. Golden Horizon Golden Horizon was originally named Flying Clipper, but today she goes by the much more luxurious Golden Horizon. And while her name may conjure up images of her melting off into a horizon of gold, yellow, and orange, given this ship's height, she's unlikely to blend in with the horizon. She's a steel hull, five-masted, bark-rigged, tall ship, which operates as a cruise ship. She was designed by Zygmunt Korn, a renowned Polish naval architect. This tall ship was built in Split, Croatia, and when she launched in 2017, she was revered as the largest sailing ship ever launched, although that hasn't been officially verified. In any case, with 36 sails and a capacity for 272 passengers, Golden Horizon is a majestic ship that's been in operation since May 2021. Passengers eagerly board this gorgeous ship to take in the grandeur of her sails for themselves. Number 6. Royal Clipper Royal Clipper is a Guinness World Record holder. She is the largest square-rigged ship in service. She was originally called Guerrick and was intended to be a floating vacation home for miners. She never saw this use and was instead sold to be used as a cruise vessel for Star Clipper Limited. She was redesigned by Robert McFarlane and she now sails her way through the stunning Mediterranean with upwards of 227 passengers on board. During the winter, she heads over to the Caribbean, and between seasons, she offers transatlantic sailings. She features 42 sails that boast an incredible 55,000 square feet of sail. And Star Clipper's claim is that she's the largest true sailing ship in the world, although Guinness has not granted her that title. In any case, being aboard this unbelievably tall ship would be a trip to remember, whether it's on the Mediterranean's iconic waters or the Caribbean's azure blue and green sea. Number 5. Frédéric Chopin Frédéric Chopin is a brig rig sailing ship which was first launched in 1992. Since then, this tall ship has gone on to win a heap of accolades. Her home port is in Poland, and she was named after the famous Polish composer Frédéric Chopin. She's been widely used as a training ship. She was chartered for a year by West Island College in Nova Scotia and then was used by the European School of Law and Administration in Poland. However, she ran into trouble in 2010 as she was reported as in distress about 100 miles from the coast of the Isles of Scilly. She had lost both of her masts to gale force winds. Luckily, she was towed to shore and there were no injuries. Since then, switched hands in 2011 and has since been operated by Three Oceans, where she serves as a training ship for the Blue School. She won the Boston Teapot Trophy in 2019 and 2021, as well as many races and titles in the Tall Ships races in 2012, 2015, and 2019. Number 4. Star Flyer With a name like Star Flyer, you better believe this ship is tall. Starflyer is a four-masted barkentine that was built as a luxury cruise vessel. She's operated by Star Clippers Limited of Sweden, along with her sister ship, Star Clipper. 
She was completed in 1991, and up until 2010, she sailed under the Luxembourg flag, but she now sails under the Malta flag. Starflyer can welcome 170 passengers aboard and is propelled by 16 sails. Both Starflyer and Star Clipper each feature more than 36,000 square feet of sails and were built with the grand age of sailing in mind. They're decorated with pictures of antique sailing ships, gleaming mahogany rails, and perfectly polished decks. And although these tall ships harken back to a nostalgic era of sailing, they offer both a plethora of modern amenities too. Piano bars, elegant dining rooms, a well-appointed library, and fireplaces are just some of the amenities passengers will find while on board these luxurious sailing ships. Furthermore, both ships use high-quality, low-sulfur gas oil, and as such, they've been awarded the Air Pollution Prevention Certificate, with the Star Flyer being the first ship ever in the world to receive this award. Number 3. Wonder of the Seas Pictures of cruise ships don't really do them justice. They're really something you need to see firsthand to fully experience the sheer magnitude of their design. It should come as no surprise that a cruise ship is on a list of the tallest ships in the world, because honestly, most cruise ships can even top the highest masts of sailing ships. But instead of listing a lot of different cruise ships, since they're all fairly similar, we decided to go with the biggest one in the world, which is also the tallest. Wonder of the Seas is the world's largest cruise ship, and she's a staggering 18 decks high. It took three years to build Wonder of the Seas, and she's got room for more than 6,000 guests aboard, 6,988 to be exact. And with a great height comes the opportunity for great adventure. Wonder of the Seas has the tallest slide at sea, as well as a zip line that's 10 decks high. And within those stacked decks, passengers can find pretty much everything they could ever want aboard. Water parks, rock climbing walls, an ice skating rink, a full-size basketball court, you name it, and you'll probably find it somewhere on this behemoth of a ship. Wonder of the Seas even has a central park area with more than 20,000 real plants in it. This ship is the fifth Oasis-class vessel by Royal Caribbean, although she's officially the largest. All of their cruise ships are much, much taller than the average ship. If you've ever been lucky enough to stand on the top deck of one of these cruise ships, then you know firsthand just how far down it is to the water below. Number 2. The Club Med 2 Hopping on board a sailing yacht is a dream for many. Kicking off those shoes and walking around polished decks barefoot while being weighted on hand and foot is something most of us will never experience in our lifetimes. And when those sails go up, what would it be like to feel the wind catch the sails, the warm ocean breeze on your face? We can all dream, right? Sailing ships have to be tall. They need that height for those massive sails, especially for true sailboats and yachts that rely solely on those sails to keep those boats moving. But when it comes to sailing vessels, not all are created equal. The Club Med 2 is currently one of the largest and tallest sailing ships in the world. The ship weighs 14,900 tons and has an overall length of 636 feet. The Club Med 2 can be seen sailing through the waters of the Adriatic Sea and the Mediterranean during the summer, and through the Caribbean during the winter, where she operates as a cruise ship. The Club Med 2 can accommodate 386 passengers as well as 214 crew members. Needless to say, this is not your average sailing vessel. As such, she boasts five enormous masts. These masts are electronically controlled to maximize their efficiency, which is not overly common but is fairly advanced. She's got seven computer-operated sails in addition to two electric motors that are powered by four diesel generators. This way, she doesn't need to rely solely on her sails, which is very important should she find herself in rough seas. The Club Med 2 uses this hybrid system to alternate between clean energy sailing and fuel. When the winds are right and the waters are calm enough, she can sail away without causing an ounce of harm to the environment. But should a storm come in or an emergency, she can turn on the engines to keep the guests safe. And because the Club Med 2 acts as a cruise ship, she offers a wide range of entertainment on board, from water sports to music shows to ballroom dancing. Number 1. Mirabella 5 Mirabella 5 holds the honor of being the largest single-masted yacht ever built. And one look at the massively tall mast and you can see why Mirabella 5 also earned the top spot on this list of the 15 tallest ships in the world. She is a slooped rig super yacht and she was first launched in 2003. The yacht was built by VT Shipbuilding in Wollston, Hampshire, and she's got a length of 254 feet, a gross tonnage of over a thousand tons, and her beam is 48.6 feet. Her overall height is an impressive 290 feet, 
This yacht was originally owned by Joseph Vittoria, who's the former chairman and CEO of Avis Car Rental, and she was used for luxury private charters. She's got six cabins and can accommodate up to 12 guests, so the charters were small and intimate, unlike the capacity of some of the larger sailing vessels on this list. Sailing on this yacht didn't come cheap, though. Mirabella 5 was chartered for as much as 420,000 US dollars per week. Of course, that covers everything you could want, from food to drinks to entertainment, but it still seems like a pretty penny to pay for just one week on board. Mirabella 5 has since swapped hands, though, and has been renamed by her current owner as M5. This magnificent yacht is no longer used for private charters, so if you want to sail on one of the tallest sailing vessels in the world, you have to look elsewhere. Watch our Waves playlist for more top 15 videos about massive waves. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best wave videos.